a tip leads to a gruesome discovery. That there was a, a body buried in the basement. Today, a break in the case. The victim was the one of the suspect's sisters. And that is where we begin tonight, a big development in a cold case murder investigation. It was more than a year ago a woman's body was discovered hidden in a basement. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jolene Cheney. And I'm Kevin Ogle. Police are telling us two members of the victim's own family are the suspects. Desiree and Octavio Sanchez have now been arrested. News 4's Natalie Kleinsdale talked to police and neighbors about today's developments. Natalie? Well, that's right, Kevin. This is a case investigators tell me they've been working on tirelessly since Margarita Sandoval's body was found. 14 months later, the Sanchez's were both finally charged with first degree murder and unlawful removal of a dead body. It's, it's really an unconscionable event. After four long years, there's finally some closure to an unthinkable killing in Norman. That's a long time for us to be able to put a case together to actually close this case and figure out what happened it is, is very exciting for us. In January 2018, court documents say 19-year-old Margarita Sandoval moved in with Desiree and Octavio Sanchez at this Norman apartment building. The victim was the one of the suspect's sisters. Court documents reveal Sandoval had a cognitive disability, so the teen's disability checks went to Desiree Sanchez. Meanwhile, concern grew from Sandoval's other family members who hadn't heard from her after February 2018. Fast forward to May 2021. We had gotten a tip that there was a, a body buried in the basement. The 19-year-old's body found in a home on West Lindsay Street. The victim was actually in um, a box that was wrapped in plastic in the basement. Investigators later found Facebook messages between Desiree and Octavio Sanchez about, quote, moving the body around the house due to the smell and say Octavio Sanchez told someone, quote, Desiree started it and I had to finish it. It's just a terrible thing for any anyone to have that happen. Investigators hope the arrest will finally bring closure to Margarita Sandoval's family. We are very grateful that um, we're able to possibly bring some justice to the victim. Court documents also reveal the, du the duo continued getting money from Sandoval's Social Security checks until the day her body was found. They're currently being held in jail without bond.